Hi, my name is Tim Poffenberger and I am with GitLab and am providing a video for customers that are coming from products that blend code quality and SAS uh, into kind of a single view or single report uh, and want to replicate similar functionality within GitLab so that both code quality and SAS can be seen within uh, the vulnerability report that can be viewed both at the merge request and also at a project level. To give you some context, uh, code quality leverages uh, a capability called static analysis where it's evaluating code and oftentimes static application security testing also leverages static analysis. Uh, some vendors choose to blend results of SAS and uh, code quality into kind of a single interface, single report. GitLab has historically seen code quality and SAS as different capabilities and thus uh, storing that information in different ways. The project that I'm going to show you uh, walks through how to leverage the, the JSON output uh, for our SAS report and convert code quality results to that JSON format so you can uh, look at code quality reports at this way. Uh, the, the, the major benefit of this is that when you get to the vulnerability report level, you can then see code quality uh, results in this. And then you can also see uh, for this uh, scenario, I'm, I'm showing SonarCube, uh, you can see those results uh, and filter on those appropriately. The way that this is done is uh, we have a GitLab CI YAML file, and what I'm doing is I'm leveraging uh, re results from SonarCube to uh, identify code quality. We, GitLab also has uh, integration with Code Climate if you want to leverage Code Climate and uh, for for these same results. And then we're taking the output of these results uh, by saying that we need the code quality job and its artifacts, and then we're going to convert those code quality artifacts leveraging this tool, this Python script here, to the GitLab SAS report.json file. The heart of this converter SAS uh, Python file is that it will uh, has a, a data spec that's uh, pinned to version 15.0.7. And then what it will do is it will automatically uh, take kind of a sample uh, report and then uh, allow you to add vulnerabilities that are coming from this GitLab code quality report JSON file. It's going to read those and then remap data elements from code quality into the schema format that uh, GitLab is looking for for SAS results. It's then going to write those vulnerabilities into a GL SAS report.json file, which then is then picked up by GitLab and then merged in. If you don't necessarily want to be able to report on the vulnerability report uh, and you really just want to look at these from a uh, the code quality from your branch or your, your default branch, you can always leverage. Uh, so this is a, a change that was made to our default branch. If you ever want to just look at the most recent um, pipeline for that default branch, uh, you can always click on branches and uh, be able to, to run filters here. So if I wanna filter on branch name master and I can see the most recent pipeline here and then from here I can drill in and look at code quality. Alternatively, uh, the major downside of this is you have to look at this within the pipeline of the, the, the most recent pipeline. There is no higher level dashboard that's, that's being shown here. Security results can be seen within this pipeline view, as well as uh, within this vulnerability report, which is going to show everything that has uh, occurred on the uh, default branch. This also uh, works out well because then you can compare results from your merge request. Uh, with this security scan, uh, it will show two new detected um, vulnerabilities. Code quality will also show the potential findings. So uh, the, the diffing ability between your default branch and your merge request is still there for code quality, 
but uh, being able to see that full report sometimes is, is helpful. Uh, I'll try to get the code made available for this converter SAST Python file. Um, it's There's nothing too complex over it. It's really just taking uh, the code quality uh, report JSON file as input and then exporting it back out to the SAST report JSON file according to its spec. Thanks. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, feel free to reach out. Thanks.